Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is time for part two of episode 78. Uh, yeah, see, in case you, you, you missed the outro on the last go-round, what happened was I thought, I genuinely, deeply thought that I was going to just finish off one wee little quest one little fuel thing that had been kind of left off to the side until we could resolve things with Godo and, and resolve things with Voga the Hut, and that 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 turned out to to not be a a short thing. I I probably should have saved HK for another day and tried just the Voga stuff, and maybe I would have been able to fit it into a longish episode, but, you know, what's happens, happens, so, uh, prepare to enjoy part two of episode 78. I should probably talk to Mira at some point, but I'll deal with that later. Yes, is there something you have come to offer me? Uh... I want to talk to you about your operations on Arshada. Oh, uh, no, I guess because I don't have, I haven't had a chance to build up any influence yet. So, considering save you. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You too. You too. I got some questions for you. To indulge some of your questions. All right. Um, on the yacht, uh, you mentioned Riven. A common misconception not supported by facts. Who? Oh. did not intend to destroy the Republic. He deliberately left the infrastructure of many planets intact and many military production facilities. Um, that's inconsistent with the fleet he had. that by whatever means he used to build his armada, he recognized that it was somehow a limited source, or that he was only willing to use it to a point. Okay. My prediction is that whatever production facility was being employed, it carried a price that Revan perceived as detrimental to the goals of the Sith. And that is why Revan left many military production facilities in the Republic intact. Uh, yeah, let's go with but why. That is what occupies my calculations as well. I believe that Revan saw a war on another front that we did not, or saw the value in keeping a strong military force. Do you know where Revan got his forces? That is also a mystery to me. A mystery revealed in Knights of the Old Republic 1, answer. also available on it YouTube. Is significant that after the defeat of Malak, the forces decreased considerably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it curious about that. that whatever was producing such forces needed a strong, effective leader to ensure its stability. Without Revan or Malak, Malak was wasn't exactly strong or effective. Well, maybe strong, but not effective. What about Malak? Unlike Revan, Malak demonstrated no concern for the future of the Republic in his attacks. His strategies were painfully obvious. Yeah. Yeah, Malik and Sotaldi didn't go together. Uh, all right. There are several factors, all of which affect each other. Really want to find the trigger that. Oh, so you're that kind of neutral. Okay. Um, is there anything you do to help those systems? The destruction of my yacht and of all my activities on Nar Shaddaa 
carry a cost that would take you several lifetimes to pay back. Mm -hmm. But perhaps the offer of credits will spur you to act quicker, more decisively. Oh, come on. Are you trying to bribe me? I don't want a reward. Um, <laughs> if you have the credits. No. Compassion and mercy only erode respect and power. No, not so much. Just tell me what needs to be done. Stabilization of Dantooine. All right. Um, let's go with uh, Telos. Yeah, no, I noticed that. I'm trying to get the hut, but I need you to stop jacking his ships. Is this the conversation track that gets us there? That's the only... Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It wasn't my fault. It's not like I chose to go there. Oh, yeah. Simply surrendered to the Sith. That wasn't an option either. I hope you do not decide that the next thing that must be destroyed to stop the Sith is the galaxy itself. Perhaps one must ask themselves at what point defending your religious ideals is no. advantageous. Oh, to you're the gonna go there. As okay. As long as your defense does not exterminate more than fifty percent of those you intend to help is that Seriously from you two. Alright, uh I have other questions. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. All right. Never mind. And I lost influence. Got some light side points though. I'm not sure that that was a positive trade. All right. So I need to find. I think they're. Alright, let, let's try to run back to Voga the Hut real quick. Because... Okay. Um... Sure, we'll go with that. I'm not going to take time to level up the uh, HK droid like I probably should. But I will equip them. Ah, we'll see. We'll see if he lasts. I mean, I shouldn't be engaging in any fights. I just need to. I just need to get the hut to agree to the fuel thingy. I, that's all I wanted to do. I'm way over what I intended to do for the episode, but I, I'm just trying to figure out what it is I need to do to get the hut to uh, to send fuel. That's it. That's all I need. Although maybe now that I did all the HK units and all that stuff. Because, you know, the commoners are already talking about how I've already uh, squared things away. Maybe I needed to wait until a reset after... Uh, yeah, 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 I know. They both need to be leveled up. Um, I might... No, I'm not going to level them up off camera. Because, again... I want to keep all the decision making out there so you can see the choices I'm making and how that's going. Although I might take the time to equip everybody with something better and then start breaking down some st the stuff I don't need for parts. Because uh, I desperately need to clear out that inventory a little bit more. Alright, um... You've returned, but I do not see Goto Chain behind me. Uh, can it be that you've not had success yet? <laughs> you know, as funny as you... Th All right, I do not have Goto here, but rest assured, he will trouble you no longer. <laughs> Indeed, I had heard as much. I wouldn't have thought you could... Oh, hey. Rude. Right. Let's get to the part where we can go to Telos. Oh, freighters have already begun. Uh, hot oil, it's even unlocked. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Threaten me later. What are you going to do? Hang me on the wall in carbonite? Or is that not for another 4,000 years? Okay. 
XP, journal, yada yada. Okay, so now I can go back to Gren, speak on his behalf, and uh, and we will have that major piece done. I, you know, at this point, I'm far enough over that I might as well go ahead and do that. Because everything else that I have on this list is done. I'm done with all the quests on Narshida. I have completed every quest. Oof, that took a while. <laughs> but I have completed every quest. Yeah, I think, uh, I think between uh, now and when I do next week's live stream... I'll, I'll spend some time thinning out the inventory, getting everybody equipped, and all that good fun stuff. Um, and then I'll start off the stream with another leveling session, uh, or conversations and leveling. Uh, so that way, so that way I can uh, move on to the next actual thing. All right, please, please don't. I just want to get to Elos. Make this quick. A nice, quick, easy mission. Easy money. You you can do that for me, can't you? Nice, easy mission. Easy money. Nobody's gonna get all antsy and oh. What do you mean, Pazak? What again? Uh. This is Ronto Scrag. What house rule says I have to go first? You know, you have no, been I'm all sorts of angry at everybody on this ship. Warning. If you draw another plus minus one card, I will enact assassination <laughs> protocols. This droid is cleaning me out. Uh, so what you playing? Pazak. Well, I'm playing. It's cheating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's the one I believe is cheating. Whatever, cheater. Uh, sure. Deal me in. Fine. Let, let, yeah. Let's just go with it. All right. How bad can it be? And the goal is 20. Oh, I win. All right. You going to call me a cheater next? 16. Ooh. Oh, hush. Alright. Let's, uh. Okay. Let's tie it. Alright. I go 19 and stand. Yeah, let's go 19 and stand. Watch as the computer goes over. Ow, oh, you bum. Fine. Ah, let's stand. Yay! That actually worked. Seventeen and twenty. I win. Oh, oh, you cheater! Now I think you're cheating, and I supported you. Fifteen and twenty. There we go. Oh. Query, what is it you wish, that one? Oh. Now we see the violence inherent in the if system. I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. Oh, mm. I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Query, have we had the misfortune to meet before? I believe I would have remembered one as large as you. Oh. Oh, yes, we have met. And I have not finished with you yet. 
Uh, that sounded ominous. I was not expecting all this. I just wanted to fly to Telos and, and finish something. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, <laughs> I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also mm -hmm. raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement. I believe you've been somewhere. How oh, are you going to zap him again, aren't you? you wish to keep hidden. That? Are all my droids gonna fight each other? Like, it's not bad. It's bad enough that I get all the people fighting each other, but I'm gonna have to have all the droids fighting each other now, too? Guys. Seriously. Alright. Oh, so HK is there. The little guy is wherever he goes. Alright. Uh, I think. Af yeah, I think next week I'm going to start off with a lot of crew stuff and just uh, go chatting about the crew. It's going to be a couple of episodes because that does seem to take a while. So let me go finish this Telos thing, even though this is this is a plus-sized episode. Um, let's do this because I'm sure there's going to be some... Uh, not Paragus. Uh, is it Citadel Station? Yeah, yeah, Tila, Citadel Station. All right, travel. Please. Please, sir. May I finish this last quest? I did so good keeping these episodes to the right size. And then that happened. I should have waited until the very end to congratulate myself on my ability to keep all the quests at the right size. Zzz. Hurry, we flew! My ickle me, pickle me, or tickle me too. I'm about to be... Some rotten bunch of assassination droids is probably going to be waiting for me right here, aren't they? I'm going to fly in this thing, we're going to cut into the landing pad, and there's going to be four of them jokers just sitting right there. Aren't there? Nope. Oh, I'm going to have to get stuck back to the desktop. There we go. <sighs> okay. Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress. Nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter. It is important. And I thought the droid was as well. But I was wrong. Oh. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then mm -hmm. perhaps we'll need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, Mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, Mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. And the old, old woman. woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Oh. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Huh. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I I'll bet. sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting... I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. You do that. Alright. And... It might be helpful if I made some okay. changes to my remote's maintenance laser to do spot repairs. That would be a welcome improvement. My combat effectiveness could be better sustained, providing an advantageous arrangement. 
and my miniature counterpart would finally be able to pull his weight in a fight. Seriously? Why are you picking on the little guy? <laughs> Look on the bright side, Goto's a much bigger target. Don't worry, he's just jealous. <laughs> okay, we got fat jokes for the droid. I seem to have an awful lot of droids myself here lately. Alright then, I'll work on it when we get back to the Hawk. Just wanted to complete... There. Oh. You should be able to do some quick fixes. I just wanted to complete one mission. To serious repairs, but I'm going to split this to into two episodes. Hey, Bowder's remote has been upgraded with the ability to repair other droids in the party. That, that is useful. That is very useful. You know, I think it's time I gave your cutting laser a little boost. Another, okay. It works fine for repairs, but we could use your help in a firefight. Worry about it. We'll make sure they keep you out of their scopes. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's something for Goto to be jealous of, right? Think of it this way. You can keep Goto in line with it. All right. I, I do love all this story. I really, really love all this story. I love all this stuff. Except for the part where it's keeping me from doing the thing that I wanted to get done in the stream before we hit an hour for this episode. I don't understand why you won't let me take a look. Statement. I've had quite enough tampering at the hands of unskilled meatbags such hey, as yourself. Hey, hey. I'm not eager to submit to this treatment. He's not an unskilled meatbag. He's unskilled a very skilled meatbag. Meat I'll show you unskilled. Appeasement. I did not mean to imply that you were an unskilled meatbag, as incapable of performing rudimentary repairs as holding a hydro spinner. Oh. It is only that I am quite particular with my repairs. Uh -huh. Perhaps, when I am more confident in your abilities, I will allow you to examine my internal components. Iridonian, if I might have a moment. What is it, Yoto? I have spent some time in the presence of your remote, and the upgrades you have performed on him are quite adequate. I am impressed with your work, though less so with your remote itself. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my remote? I find his use of resources, energy spent on frivolous things, to be an unsightly waste. But it is obvious you have some skill, however slight, in the upgrading of machines. I want you to provide me with Th This is because I leveled him up that much. Be able to do isn't something. it? I will see what I can do next time I have a free moment. Are all the drawers going to talk? Oh. Can, are, are, are we, can we move now? Oh, good. We can move now. All right. Oh, we almost have a full party, too. We're just missing one last guy, and then we'll, we'll have a uh, full ship. Nice. All right. Let's, uh... You know what, let's take you, and you know what, for now let's take you, and I, I will have to go through, and yeah, next next stream's going to be nothing but leveling up, and all that good fun stuff. Matter of fact, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do the equipping bit that I had originally wanted to do, simply because um, they... Um, they, they need the extra proficiencies that'll come from leveling, so... I don't know. I'll figure something out. Plus, I think there's a guy in here that sells some lightsaber parts, and I might want to hit him up. I will probably do that while I am here. Alright. Let's see if I can remember how to find my way back to the commander and finish up this quest. This one quest. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, This way... In this way. And there we go. Not you. You, Lieutenant Gren. So you returned. Yes, I have returned. I've found a, si a solution to Citadel Station's fuel really? problem. That's great news. The situation here hasn't improved at all. Yeah, I kind of figured it hasn't. Discover? Voga the Hut is looking for markets. Yeah, first let's talk about my feet. Now, let's go on with Voga. Voga the Hut? That's preposterous. What makes you think we'd be willing to do that? Uh, Voga's got a lot of fuel. There's nothing else. I don't care if you're willing or not. I'm not. 
Uh, he's got a lot of fuel and he needs to sell it. A lot of fuel isn't going to help our position much in this case. It's a resource that's needed throughout the galaxy, and he'll be able to command a high price for it. Still, mm. we don't have much of a choice. We need fuel, and we need it fast. I'll bring this up with the Telosian Council and urge them to broker a deal with Voga. Now, yeah, I do that. I gave you my word that there would be a reward for information leading to the establishment you did. of the fuel source for the station. Never believed for a moment that you'd actually be collecting it. Oh, I'm a seriously. Man of my word. Uh, so here you are. I hate you now, all. I've got to send this You're lucky I'm not dark side. Right away. All right. Um What is it? Ah, never mind. Okay, XP. Ooh, 1000 credits. That's better than any, any other bounty you gave me. All right. I am going to do some shopping here in between streams, and I believe that's going to be it. I, I'm probably going <laughs> to... When, when you're watching this on YouTube, you'll have found out that I split this episode into two pieces. If you're watching on the live stream, I'm letting you know now I'm going to split this episode into two pieces. Because uh, it's gone on way too long for a single episode. Not by choice, but oh well. There we go. Well... That was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.